What's up, Elite Thenx athletes? Welcome to another video of Official Thenx. Today I'm showing these guys how I learned to backflip. Uh All right, so let's get started. So today, I'm gonna to be teaching Zay and Brian how I learned to backflip. But before we get started, I wanna give a big disclaimer for this video. I know this is a highly anticipated video, but I've been very hesitant as to creating this video and uploading it because there's a lot of crazy people on the internet and I know a lot of people try a lot of crazy shit, and I really don't want anybody to hurt themselves. Like that's the last thing I want is to upload a video and somebody doing something really stupid. So for the disclaimer, I'm not telling anybody out there to do this. I'm just showing you guys and showing them the way that I learned how to do it. And if you guys are gonna be taking this advice and using any of these progressions, please do it very cautiously and do it at your own risk. And very important guys, do not skip any progressions if you are gonna be doing this just because you think you're a badass or just because you think you can do it because chances are you're not and you're gonna be severely injured. And it's better to go through these progressions safely and correctly, eventually you'll reach the backflip versus going in there recklessly, trying it and just getting a way more serious injury that's gonna prevent you from working out probably ever in your whole life. All right, so with that said, I'm gonna show these guys how I learned to backflip and I'm gonna be walking you guys through the progressions, all right? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna practice our jump. So the first thing I want you guys to do is have your hands up. This is gonna be the first position. One, two, three. You're gonna jump straight up in the air, all right? Let's try that. One, two, three. One, two, three. Straight up. Good, 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 good. Keep it going, let's do like two more. So something super important that they're doing, guys, keep it going, is that they're not bending too far down. The further you bend down, the harder it's gonna be to come back up You're using too much energy. You're actually not gonna jump as high. All right, so that's perfect, guys. All right, so make sure to master each step. Even though this looks super simple, do this like 100 times before moving on to the second progression. All right, so for the second progression, I'm gonna have you guys lie down on the ground. It's gonna look like this. We're gonna simulate the movement of actually tucking once you get in the air. So imagine we're in the air right here when we're jumping. We're gonna have our hands up, and then when our hands come up, you're gonna bring your knees into your chest and grab your knees. And you're gonna keep that tuck, and you're gonna feel the motion go over. So you need to do it swiftly. So one, two, and you're gonna feel your body start to roll back, all right? Let's try that. There you go, there you go, perfect. Awesome. Awesome, take your time with this. this. This part is more of a race. It's more just to like get that technique, get that to snap, just like that. So as you see, Brian felt like he was flipping all the way over. You wanna feel that. Cause the better you get at this, that's what's gonna give you that rotation <laughs> when you're doing that backflip. Like I said, guys, drill this like a hundred times, even though this is ridiculously easy. You wanna get that momentum like Brian keeps getting. Yeah, all right, cool. Hold those knees, guys. The harder you tuck, the easier it's gonna be to go over. A big misconception when people are trying to do backflips is like they think they're trying to like do a, like push their body through the flip and that's not how it works at all. You're gonna jump up and as long as you have like a back lean, you're leaning towards that way. If you just tuck your knees into your chest, that alone is gonna give you that rotation. You don't actually have to push yourself through a rotation. The better you are with a tuck, the easier it is gonna be just to flip over. And you guys are gonna check that out right now in the next progression. You guys ready? We're gonna be practicing our jump and we're gonna be learning how to incorporate that with the spot. So we're just gonna practice the first progression with the spotter. I'm gonna have them jump straight into the air with that back lean, all right? And I'm gonna be spotting them behind. Now I want you to pay attention to the spot because when you're learning how to do a backflip, the spotter is just as important, if not more important than the person actually trying to do the flip. You are basically being the foundation for this person. A structure is only as strong as its foundation. If you have a weak foundation, chances are some can go wrong. So let's go for it. So first, you wanna hold them by the hip. They're gonna go one, two, three, and jump up, and they're gonna lean back on you. You're just gonna support their weight. Ready? You wanna get them to be like right on top of your shoulder. Your shoulder should be right here on their back supporting them right here. You ready? Go for it. Three, two, one. That's good. That's, that's fine, that's fine. That's gonna happen at the beginning too. It's at the beginning, you're pushing back, you're not used to this movement, it's gonna feel a little weird. That's why you guys have to drill this. Do this one move like a 100 times before moving on to the next progression 
even though this is something that looks super simple. Let's try this one more time, and then we're gonna have you try, Brian. All right, keep your legs tight, just lean back. I got you, bro. Ready? Three, two, one. There you go. Let's go, Brian, you got this, boy. This is a big guy, so make sure you guys spot them. Here we go, ready? Three, two, one. Perfect, keep the legs together and just lean a little bit back. And guys, don't actually, you don't have to jump hard back. Just lift your chin up, and as long as your head is tilting backwards, you're gonna get that, that angle to go back. Three, two, one. And that's what you guys wanna do. Drill that right there 100 times, then you're ready for the next progression. You ready? Let's do it. Yeah, all right, we're gonna start with Zay. This time, we're gonna go to the next progression. So what we did on the floor, guys, how we rolled, and tucked, now we're gonna simulate that in our jump. And I'm gonna be back behind you to spot. So the real trick of this is really, like I said, to try to get this person onto your shoulder and then you're just gonna bring them back down. We're not flipping at all yet. Make sure to get wide stance, grab them by right here by the waistline and make sure that th this shoulder goes right at this part of their back. And you wanna make sure that this person has in their mind that they're going and rolling over your shoulder, like they're gonna roll over something. They're not just going up and slamming down or pushing back and lifting their legs up. They have to keep in mind that they're envisioning themselves rolling over like a bed or a car or something. Here we go. So you're just gonna come up and I'm gonna bring you back down, right? Tuck my knees. Yeah, tuck, 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 and then come back down. Three, two, one. There you go. Let's try it one more time. Let's try to jump a little bit higher this time. So it's at the peak of your jump, guys. As soon as you jump and you feel that hang time, that's when you're gonna tuck. Because you wanna get over this. Three, two, one. Good. All right, Brian, you ready? Ready? Three, two, one. Perfect, let's do one more. Three, two, one. Perfect. So now the goal of this, guys, is to get this person super comfortable with going up, up, higher, higher, higher. Eventually, they're gonna get really comfortable with this and they're just gonna roll right over your shoulder. Check this out. All right, guys, so now we're gonna need something like this. It's really, honestly, it's worth it. It's worth your safety. Like I said, guys, you guys don't wanna try this just one time and you can end up severely injuring yourself and probably never being able to do this ever again. The main way people get injured when they try to do backflips is that they don't commit the whole time when they're doing that flip. If you break in the middle of that flip, that's gonna immediately stop your rotation and you're gonna fall right on your head. As long as you keep that rotation going, you're gonna be completely fine. Even if you do fall or bail, you're gonna be falling on your feet or you're gonna be falling, worst case, on your butt. So, with that said, let me show you guys how that works. All right, so after you've been doing this for a while and you've gotten really used to it, you're gonna have him just go right over your shoulder. You're gonna kinda help him through it as a spotter. So let me show you what that looks like. You ready for this, bro? Let's do it, man. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> That's basically how you guys do it. So if you see what I just did there, I kind of helped him through the motion of that backflip. As he went over my chest, I kept the motion going. When you guys are spotting the person, don't just stand there, because if you do and the person may not be ready or hesitates, Worst case, they're gonna fall like right down there. So as they're going, it would be helpful if you kind of like move them through the motion, whether it be with your hands and your body going over the side. So let's try that one more time. Ready? This is why it's super important, guys, to really practice this drill first, because you do not want to mess this up, the spotter or the person going for this. You guys both need to commit 100%. You guys both need to know exactly what you're doing to make this successful. Here we go. Three, two, one. There you go. There you go. Brian, you wanna try this one? All right, here we go. Do you wanna do uh, one of the progressions first and then go for that one, just to get used to it? Or you yeah. just wanna go straight for it? So here's a helpful thing, guys. To get right into it, try a couple regressions, some of the moves before you get to this point, and then go for the latest progression. So that's what we're gonna do now. Let's just do a quick check. Ready? Of just a tuck. Go for it, three. Two, one, perfect. Now you're gonna go exactly like that, bro, all right? Tuck, 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 hold it, commit 100%. Just hold it the whole time. Ready? Three, two, one. 
How was that? It's good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good, it's good, it's good. So that's the worst that's gonna happen, guys, and that's why it's super important to have one of these and to have a soft padded floor. Even professionals, sometimes they can bail and they can mess up, so it's super important that you guys use safety. All right, say, let's try another one. Are right, you ready, bro? I'm gonna spot you a little bit less this time, all right? So I'm gonna probably put a little bit less pressure when, I, when, he, when he goes for it. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Bro, he's ready. He's ready. You're ready to do it on your own, bro. I can't wait to see that. Hell yeah, that's so dope. All right, so that's where we're at. We're gonna move on to the next progression. Sick, come on, bro. This guy's ready. Ugh, you don't need this. Are you ready, bro? Does that make you nervous? No? It's all mental. It really is all mental. Here we go. You ready? I'm gonna spot you like this one more time without that, and then we're gonna go with the last spot right here. All right? So here we go. Three, two, one. Hey! Woo! Like I said, guys, do not go too ahead of yourself. Even if it looks like this, you feel real, real confident to do it by yourself, do not do it by yourself. Better to be safe than sorry, I'm telling you. So technically, Zay at this point should be drilling this with a spotter for like a couple of days. I'm sure you can do it on your own, but still, to make sure that you master this, you wanna practice each of the progressions separately, you know, because each one creates the whole of what this move is gonna be, you know? You wanna try one more time? And then let's go for the, the, the small spot, all right? Here we go. Three, two, one. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Shake it off, shake it off. Let's do one more of those and we'll go for the, for the real one. Trick is to, as soon as you feel like you're going over, like you're going over my shoulder or going over the turn, is to keep your eyes to the ground, spot the ground so you can put your legs straight out. As long as you spot the ground, put your legs straight out, you're gonna stick it. Let's try it. Ready? Three, two, one. There you go. Killing it, killing it. All right, I'm gonna give Zay a little breather and then he's gonna see if you can do it with a simple spot. All right, Zay, you ready? All right, we're gonna go for it. All right, it's gonna be all you on your own, on your command, all right? Let's go for it. There you go. That's how you learn how to backflip. That's how I learned how to do a backflip, and that's how I do it, man. Ain't nothing much to it. So there you have it, guys. Brian, you gotta work on that last progression, yeah, yeah. but he's gonna get there too. So that is how I learned how to backflip, guys. So with that said, if you guys are trying to utilize any of these progressions or steps, please do so with caution, in a safe environment, and of course, at your own risk. We are not telling you guys to try this at all. Just showing you the way I learned how to do it. So with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Smash that like button, because these guys definitely deserve a like for trying that backflip, that's just crazy. Check us out next Sunday. We post every Sunday, 8 p.m. USA Eastern time. And if you comment within the first 30 minutes, you have a chance to win some Thenx gear. And if you guys are trying to take your workouts to the next level and sign up right now to thenx.com, become a member and get full access to all our workout programs, technique guides and daily workouts are gonna have you shredded, not just looking strong, but actually being strong. Download the Thenx app in the app store to take our workouts with you everywhere. Brian, bro, you rock. Check these guys out, Zay. Thenx athletes right here, guys. Let us know what you want the next video to be about in the comment section down below and we will see you guys next Sunday. Mad love, peace out.